Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how you can use Microsoft Lists. But before to jump in, as always hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned with my next videos. Microsoft Lists are the evolution of SharePoint Lists. There are a lot of new capabilities available. For instance, you can have now the list in full screen mode. You can quick edit the list with new capability and you can also start from a template. So you don't need every time to recreate from scratch a new list, but you can reuse something that is already available. There are several templates like issue trackers, onboarding and so on, but enough talk, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you how it works this application. Let's go! Here I am on my Microsoft 365 tenant. Let's start to run Microsoft Lists. In order to do that, you have to click on the app launcher, the icon with the waffle icon, and then you will find Lists. Clicking on it, this will open the application. Before to jump in every capability, I want to clarify the URL of this application. So as you can see, if I remove this portion of the URL and I refresh the page, we are on my OneDrive space. If I change now the name of this, of this page in Lists, we are on the Microsoft Lists application. This because you have two options when you create a new list. You can store the list on your OneDrive space or you can store the list in a SharePoint site where you have access. Ok, let's start now to create a new list. Clicking on the New List button, you have three options here available. You can start from a blank list, you can start from an Excel file or you can restart from an existing list. Below we have this section, Templates, that allows you to reuse existing template. This is one of the new capability of Microsoft Lists. So you can reuse issue tracker, employee onboarding, event itinerary, asset manager, recruitment tracker, and so on. Let me use now asset manager. And here we are on a second page where we can have a preview of every template. In this case, asset manager. I can jump on employee onboarding and we can see that the look and feel is different. Issue tracker, we have different look and feel, different columns and this helps you to find the right template that you can reuse to start. Okay, as I said, I want to use this asset manager template. Clicking on use template, you will have the option to select the title of this of this list, the description, you can choose a color and an icon. And finally we are on the part that I mentioned before, so you can select where you want to store this list, in my lists, and this will store the list in your OneDrive space or an existing SharePoint site where you have access. Okay, let's, let's say spaces. I don't want to show this list in the navigation. Then you can click on create and this bring you on the on this list just created. I want to focus on the URL again because we have here a parameter and the equal web view list. This is a query string parameter attached to the URL. If I remove this parameter and if I refresh the page, you can see that we are on SharePoint and we can work with this list just created in Microsoft Lists. But if I reattach again this query parameter and I refresh the page, we are again back on Microsoft Lists. This just changed the view of the Microsoft List. You can work directly from SharePoint or Microsoft Lists, the capabilities are the same. If we click now on the new button, the property panel show up and we can start to fill out the first entry of this list. 
before to go forward with that I want to focus on the edit form so you can rearrange the order of the fields in this form so you can also decide to for example hide the serial number on this property panel and you can move order like third third fields now saving that as you can see we have order as third field and the other one is disappeared okay let's jump now on a list that i already filled out with content here i am on this list that i already filled out with content let me jump now on add column because the first capability that i want to show you is the image column adding this column allows me to have a thumbnail in the list let's type in thumbnail description it's not important let's save this column now if i edit this column by clicking on the on the right button this will open always the property panel scrolling down i have this new field available add an image i can select this image open save and now i have this thumbnail available in fact if i reopen again this item in the list we can see that the thumbnail is now available there is also the ability to comment this item so i can type in something and i leave a comment here so if i close now this comment panel we can see that the new icon is available here so there is a comment available for this item i can create a new one but my colleagues can now click on this icon open the property panel and they can have a look on the comment that i left here let me close this panel another great capability is, is the ability to change the layout of this list so we can have a normal list view with all items or we can select asset gallery for example and then gallery so we have a card view of this of this list which is great and again what i can do here is click on format current view clicking on edit card i can change the look and feel of this card for example imagine that i need to add additional information on this card i can just check this checkbox show the preview and the current owner also is available now in this card you can do the same with other fields we can change also the view of all items saving now this change i can go back on list and here i can clicking on format current view i can decide to have alternating row styles like we have in this case or i can define a conditional formatting let's say that i want to have a different color for every row based on the status clicking on the conditional formatting i can now click on the three dots edit rule and i can decide that when the status is equal to available we will have this green color I can save and now the change is applied we can do the same for other rows it's time to talk about the quick edit mode clicking on edit in grid view the first capability that we have here is the first column that is sticked so I can move the horizontal scroll bar from left to right and as you can see the first column it's completely sticked improving the user experience i can easily rename also the column by clicking on rename column here 
and then here photos for example and now the title is changed for this column you can manipulate also the height of the rows by clicking on this drop down you can select auto fit height or you can have fixed height normally when you have a lot of items maybe this kind of option is more comfortable but let me go back now on auto fit 8 now let's say that i need to add additional row here so i can select this row and by using just my keyboard keeping pressed shift and moving the arrow down or up i can expand the selection of this row i want to reuse this item surface go for a new one now I copy it in my clipboard this row and clicking on this field, just clicking on CTRL V, I have now this item pasted here. So then I can click here and open again in edit mode this, this row if I have to change some content here, change the image or I can just work immediately from here in use. I can select re retire it for example then i can go exit from the edit mode and this new row is just created microsoft lists will be available soon also for android and ios all right that was a quick tutorial how you can use microsoft lists if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list. Okay, I hope to see you next time. Bye.